The cherry blossom dream had come true transformed into a scientific obsession that consumed his days. Already a respected physics professor, Robert Goddard devoted every ounce of his energy and meager funds to mastering the most dangerous challenge of his time, the liquid-fueled rocket. Combining liquid oxygen, at nearly 200 degrees below zero, with gasoline was a recipe for disaster, a constant dance with explosion. But Goddard persevered through countless trials and deafening failures. His pioneering work was received not with admiration, but with fierce skepticism and cruel mockery. The press dubbed him Mooney Goddard, the lunatic who dreamed of the moon, and an infamous 1920 New York Times editorial declared his idea absurd, wrongly claiming that a rocket could not generate thrust in the vacuum of space because it would have nothing to push against. But Goddard, armed with his intimate knowledge of Newton's laws, ignored the critics. On March 16, 1926, on a snowy farm in Auburn, Massachusetts, he made history. His small, crude rocket, which he nicknamed Nell, lifted off the ground for a mere two and a half seconds, reaching a height of 12 meters, 40 feet. It wasn't a grand spectacle, but it was irrefutable proof that his theory was correct. That brief, shaky flight was the aerospace equivalent of humanity's first step. Driven out of Massachusetts by the noise and danger of his experiments, he found a new home in the desert of Roswell, New Mexico. There, under the vast open sky and with the support of figures like Charles Lindbergh, he perfected his designs. He developed gyroscopic control systems for stability, steering nozzles, and the first concepts for multi-stage rockets. In the solitude of the desert, Goddard wasn't just launching rockets, he was writing, piece by piece, the instruction manual for modern spaceflight. 